Boom! I think it's time for an update. Hey guys, this is Pesh from B1.com and let me get straight to the point here. Today I'll be talking about 10 useful Windows apps and software that I think every Windows user should be using. I think you'll find these incredibly handy. Now before I talk about the Windows apps, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors for this video, Dr. Phone WhatsApp Transfer, which I think is a very handy tool to transfer WhatsApp data from your Android smartphone to your iPhone and vice versa. So this is Dr. Phone's WhatsApp Transfer tool and here you can just use the WhatsApp Transfer option connect both your devices and transfer WhatsApp chats and media easily and it works. Now apart from WhatsApp transfer, Dr. Phone also has features like data recovery, phone manager, phone unlock etc. Now Dr. Phone WhatsApp transfer is available for a free trial with the paid version starting at around $30. So check it out from the link in the description. Okay, so file converter, as the name suggests, is a tool to convert files, but there's a twist. See, with file converter, you can convert any file to a different format with the right-click context menu. I can just right-click on a PNG file and convert it to JPEG or any other image format. Now, what's even more awesome is that you can select multiple files at once, right-click on them and batch convert them. Now, it takes some time when there's multiple files, but yeah, it works. Now, as you can see, there are a number of conversion presets and you can customize things. For example, in JPEG, you can set the quality, scale, and even set it to rotate the image. Now, the default settings work for me, and I think it'll work for most people, but yeah, you can set things up. Now, File Converter is an open source free app, and it supports most image, audio, video, and document formats. So yeah, check it out. Next up, SoundSwitch is a very simple but super handy app that I found incredibly useful. Now this app lets you switch between multiple playback devices with a simple keyboard shortcut. So say I'm listening to an audio on my speakers, but I want to move the audio to my headphones. Well, I press the hotkey I've set, that is Alt plus F9, and the audio starts playing from my headphones. I can again move it back to the laptop speakers with the same hotkey. Now this is very useful and I like that you can also set a hotkey to switch microphones and sound switch also lets you create profiles where you can set the app to switch to your headphones or your laptop speakers depending on the app you've opened. So we recently made a video on the new Windows 10X and one thing I really liked about Windows 10X's UI is the cleaner taskbar. I mean, let's face it, the Windows taskbar can get really cluttered. Well, taskbar X moves the taskbar icons to the center, just like Windows 10X. And that's not all, you can also make the taskbar look cooler. You can enable a transparent taskbar, a taskbar with a blur effect, which I like the most. And as you can see, there are a lot more themes here, which look really cool. Also, you can set the opacity, colors, etc. And you can change the animations on the taskbar when you open apps, minimize them, etc. So Taskbar X is another open source app. So yeah, you can get it for free. So the native clipboard feature in Windows 10 is good, but it's not very feature rich. And while there are a lot of third-party clipboard apps out there, I like Ditto. This is the Ditto clipboard and I know it does not look the coolest or very modern, but it has some of the very important features. First up, it stores texts, links, images, and you can just double click on an item to copy it again. Also, it lets you set the number of copies you want to keep. I have set it to 5000, so whenever I need to go back to something I copied a long time back, it will be here in Ditto. And as you can see, there's also a search option, so I can even search the clipboard. Now, there are a lot more options, including the option to set your own hotkey for the clipboard. So yeah, check it out, it's free. So the built-in search tool in Windows 10 is good, it's decent, but I think everything is the search tool you should be using on Windows. First up, it's crazy fast. So here's me searching for a file on the Windows 10 search and everything side by side. And as you can see how the results are updated in real time and everything, just as I type, is just way faster. I mean, everything returns results almost instantly. And while I use it for just this, this fast instant search for files and folders, you can customize things to make your search even better. Plus I'm using the everything toolbar on my laptop, which adds everything search to the Windows taskbar along with the search box. 
See, everything is very popular among Windows users and if you still haven't used it, it's kind of a shame, so try it out. So if you're someone who likes monitoring your PC's hardware, the Sidebar Diagnostics app is an app that you will like. This app brings a sidebar to the right side of the screen with all the important data you need to monitor. There's time and date at the top, and then there are the CPU details like the clock speed, voltage, temperature. There's also the RAM usage, the GPU details, and details on the drives and the network. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of data here, but you can customize what data you want to see and what you don't want to see. For example, here I can choose all the details I want to see of the CPU. I can also disable other monitors if I want, change the location of the sidebar, and yeah, there are a lot more options. So it's an all around handy app. Cannot delete file, the source or destination file may be in use. The file is in use by another program user. Make sure that the disk is not full or write protected and the file is not in use. Now these are some of the errors that I as a Windows user have faced time and again while deleting files or even renaming or moving some files. And this is what Unlocker fixes. See, it's a very simple tool that kind of looks outdated, but hey, it works. So just open it up and browse to the file or folder which you are facing issues with. Now Unlocker will remove any locking handles to delete the file or rename it, whatever you want. Now I don't have any issues right now, so it says no locking handle found, but I can use this drop down to delete the file or you know, rename it or even move it. Next up is Encrypto, which is a great tool to encrypt files. I mean, this is super useful because you can use this while sending things like bank statements, personal IDs and more so that not everyone can just open it up. See, with Encrypto, you can either drag and drop one or more files onto this window, or use the context menu on files and use the Encrypto option. Then you can just add a password and a hint, which is optional, and then click on Encrypt. And in a few seconds, the files you chose will be encrypted with AES-256 encryption. It's that simple. And as you can see, you need the Encrypt password to open up the file. So yeah, it's very secure. So Display Fusion is an app aimed at people who have multi-monitor setups. Now this is a software aimed at power users because it has a lot of features, like literally a lot. Now first up, it lets you have a separate taskbar as well as separate wallpapers for your different monitors, which is very handy. And Display Fusion also lets you move apps to different monitors easily. I mean, I can just hit this button to move the app from this screen to the other screen. Now apart from that, it lets you split the two monitors into different sections so that you can snap more than two apps in a screen and it lets you set apps to directly open on a certain monitor automatically. See, there are a lot more features and honestly, it's kind of a little complicated, but if you want to make the most of your multi-monitor setup, you should try this. It's available in a free as well as paid version, but I think free will do, so check it out. Lastly, there's a wallpaper app. So Lively Wallpaper is an open source app that uses dynamic web pages, 3D apps, and audio visualizers as wallpapers. I mean, as you can see, there are a number of cool animated wallpapers here, and just look at this one. This is my favorite, and it's so cool. Here's another very cool wallpaper, and I like that there are different customization options depending on the wallpaper. Also, you can add wallpapers on your own from a website or a video. Plus, I like that when you have apps or games running in full screen on your PC, Wallpaper playback stops to make sure it's not using up any resources. So yeah, I think this is a very cool wallpaper app that you should check out. Well, those were some Windows apps and software that I personally really like, but I'd love to know if there's anything else that we kind of missed out on. So if there's any other great Windows 10 software, let us know in the comment section below so that everybody can know. Also give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to share it with your friends and yeah, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, as we signing off, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.